Hello everyone, so I've been doing a lot recently. One of those things include playing Destiny 2, as it is one of the games I played growing up. While doing so, the new DLC for Destiny 2, known as Lightfall, was shown in multiple cases, from the Vidoc, the teaser trailer, and the Lightfall trailer. I know, that's a lot of trailers. Along with these showcases, the trailers were shown the new subclass for each character, such as the Hunter, the Warlock, and the Titan. With the Warlocks being spider-like summoner wizards, watch out Hogwarts, Warlock's going to come in with that master version of <laughs> And with the Hunter being more of an assassin type, someone call the people in the Leaf Village cause Hunter are about to roll up and clap everyone with the bitch slapping ninjutsu. As for the Titan, that is what this video is all about. As I have seen people represent the Titan such as this. As funny as the representation is, I personally feel like that is not the case as that discredits the people who work hard on both the super and the mechanics and strand itself. So I'm going to talk about where it could have taken inspiration from along with what the weapon is and who is responsible for using such weapon. So, let's start off with where it could have taken massive inspiration from. What I think what it was is it looks like it takes massive inspiration from a game called Prototype. Prototype is an action adventure game played from a third person's perspective set in an open world based on modern day Manhattan. Rated M for Mature with the developers being Radical Entertainment and the publishers being Activision. The game is set in New York City as a virus infects people and the military attempts to put an end to it. The protagonist of the story is named Alex Mercer who has shapeshifting abilities and more. Alex can also shapeshift his portion of his body into specialized forms of weapons for attack or defense. Even though this may be a different game, I feel like there are major inspirational ideas, one such being the blade arm on Alex and the Titan, but the Titan having two blades instead of one, and some of the abilities that are in Prototype have weird similarities such as the grapple in Prototype compared to Strand in Destiny 2. Now, I know this is not a one-on-one -on -one perfect identical thing, which is why I said it takes inspiration from it. From slow, heavy attacks such as Prototype and the movement in it, also Prototype sold 2.1 million copies by March 2012 meaning a lot of people did enjoy the game with the scores being 7.5 out of 10 IGN, 8.5 out of 10 from GameSpot, and 79% on Metacritic. Now, even though it may be a different game, it does have inspiring ideas such as Suspend. When Alex would infect someone, then kick them outwards, then causing the infected individual to attract anything around it. And yes, even though Alex had a form with claws, I don't think it's very smart or wise for anyone to be calling the Strand Titan a claw-like super, as it is not the case of what we are being shown to us in all the trailers and the Vida. Now, to compare some abilities of the Titan, but also the other classes, however, Titan will most likely be able to make woven mail a lot more than the other classes, into the fray allows for titans to grant themselves and their allies woven mail buff when destroying a tangle. Along with this, this aspect will also increase melee's titan ability regeneration while this having woven mail. Woven mail creates a protective armor made from strand to reduce any incoming damage. Now we can take a look at Alex's version. The armor is the second defensive power of Alex Mercer. While in this form, he takes less damage, but at a density result of loss of movement, speed, and overall agility. Looking at this, we can compare that the Titan's version is less restrictive. In addition, they would have more movement and overall agility. As we see, it's really interesting how Woven Mail is similar to the armor ability in Prototype. I would love to go more in depth about it. However, I don't want this video to be too long. Okay. So, I've gone over what the inspiration could have definitely came from, however this does not explain the weapon of choice, so I will gladly explain as people complain about the weapon of choice. It's interesting because people want more Titan Warrior inspired like Super, like the Spartan, the Viking, 
or the Stram minigun. I will give my opinion on the minigun thing at the end of the video. Well, if you take the time to find out what the Titan is using, you will realize that it is an indeed a warrior based weapon. The weapon is called a Qatar, as it is a hand dagger, or more nowadays a forearm blade that is hooked around your forearm. You hold onto the handle and it comes in many different kind of Qatar types. The Qatar is a type of push dagger from the Indian subcontinent. The weapon is characterized in by its H-shaped horizontal hand grip, which results in the blade sitting above the user's knuckle. Unique to the Indian subcontinent, it is most famous characteristic of the Indian daggers. Ceremonial Qatars were also used in worship. Funny enough, these were used to break shields and armor. The weapon was used by many Ithil Tamil infantry units. The people who would wield these weapons were called Rajput warriors. The Rajput are a caste who belong to the Kshatriya of Arna. The Chahamanas of Shakambari are known for being kings and warriors, just like the Rajputs. Sixth century in the 12th century was medieval kingdoms of Rajputs that became famous for their elite warriors. Also, side note, I also do think that it could be a combination between the Qatar and the Patas, which is one a blade gauntlet and the other is a push dagger version. Me and my pals were talking about which one it could have been, however they both similar to it which is why I wanted to add this small tidbit of possibility. So, as we can see, there is a lot to the Strand Titan that people don't either want to talk about or take time to do some search and learn new things about history and our arsenal of weapons in either life or people who are just misinformed, which in that case, I hope this has helped with understanding that Titan is indeed intriguing and that this keeps your mind and eyes either open or interested. As stated before, I will end on reply about the Strand minigun or machine gun. I'm going to be honest with you, if we were to do that, then what would be the point in having a Strand mini or machine gun as a type of weapon element? Or builds you already do with legendary ones or exotic ones are just better. Not to mention that people complain about golden gun already. Last thing we need is something even more insane, such as that balance would be better over fantasy. However, we come to a close on the, of this video. I thank you all for taking the time to listen and taking the time out of your day to open your mind to new knowledge, and I wish you all a lovely and blessed day. I would also like to thank Aerostick for the background footage that you guys are seeing today, along with my friends who helped me make this video, whether it was giving me ideas, giving me, you know, soundtrack stuff to help with the effects, or overall just advice on my um, information that I have gotten. I appreciate all of you, and be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I am sorry for being gone for so long, but I do have massive plans coming. I'm just staying very quiet and secretive about it. If you do want to catch me, I am mostly live on Twitch, so be sure to go check me out down there. Other than that, everyone else will be linked down in the description below, so be sure to go show them some love and appreciation.